everybody welcome back to my channel web e learning academy i hope you are doing well at home today we are going to continue our topic powers and exponent this is our part number 5 in my previous video i have told you about the laws of exponent that was the basics of laws of exponent i have said you why do we use the laws of exponent and what are the laws of exponents I have even taught you a first rule of the exponent, which is multiplying numbers with same bases and different exponents. Today, we are going to learn our second rule, that is, dividing numbers with same base and different exponent. Here again, I am using the term same base and different exponent. What are the same bases and the different exponents? Let us assume that our same bases are x. Our bases are x. and the different exponents are m and n our base is x and our exponents are m and n so our same base is x and our different our same base is x and our different our different exponents are m and n our same base are x and our different exponents are m and n so our previous videos formula was x to the power of m multiplied by x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m plus n let us see what is our second rule dividing numbers with same base and different exponents Our assumptions are same. Our same bases are x and x. Our different exponents are m and n. And then we are having dividing numbers. So we get x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n. That is equal to x to the power of m plus x to the power of m minus n. so remembering this formula we can say that if if x is a rational if x is a rational number and m and n are whole numbers if x is a rational number and m and n are whole numbers and and m is greater than n m is greater than n x is a rational number m and n are whole numbers and m is greater than n then our formula will be x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m minus n we have revealed another rule that is dividing numbers with same base and different exponent let us take this formula that is x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m minus n in our mind and let us do some examples of this let us see what are the well, examples so here we have 2 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 3 and we have our formula x to the power of n divided by x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m minus n so before doing with our laws way first we are going to do with the traditional exponents way let us see here we have 2 to the power of 7 2 to the power of 7 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 5 2 2 into 2 this is our set number 1 2 to the power of 7 that is 2 multiplied to itself 7 times divided by 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 now 
we are going to simplify 1 to 1. 1 times 2 is here and 1 to get cancelled. 1 to here and 1 to here get cancelled. 1 to here and 1 to here gets cancelled. So our remaining answer is 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer is 2 to the power of 4. Our answer which we got is 2 to the power of 4. Now let us see, can we get the same result while doing our log method? Let us see by that. We have 2 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 3. x power m divided by x to the power of n. So we get x to the power of m minus n. Our x is 2 to the power of 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So the answer which you get is 2 to the power of 4. That is just as exact as we got by doing the traditional exponential way. So we can say that whatever I have done it by traditional exponent way is correct and what we have done it by our law way is also correct. So I hope you have understood our first example. Now we are going to take one more example of a rational number and see whether this law applies or not. So we have our second example that is 3 by 5 to the power of 5 divided by 3 by 5 to the power of 3. So, according to our rule, dividing numbers with same base and different exponent, our same base is same. 3 by 5 and 3 by 5 are the base. They both are same and our different exponent, 5 and 3 are the exponents. They are different. Let us solve them by our traditional exponent way and then we will go by our formula. Let us see. 3 by 5 to the power of 5 mean 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5. These are the 3 by 5 multiplied to themselves 5 times by we have 3 by 5 to the power of 3. So we will be doing here 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 into 3 by 5. Now, here we have 3 3 by 5s and up we have 5 3 by 5s. So here 1 and 1 get cancelled. Here 1 and 1 gets cancelled. And the final one, this 1 and this 1 get cancelled. So the answer which we get is 3 by 5 it is multiplied 2 times so to the power of 2 this is what we got the answer by the traditional division way we got 3 by 5 to the power of 2 let us check whether this thing is correct with our way of law so our law says that 3 by 5 divided by uh, 3 by 5 to the power of 5 divided by 3 by 5 to the power of 3. This is our question. So here we have x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n. So our law says that we will get x to the power of m minus n. We get 3 by 5 to the power of 5 minus 3. So our final answer is 3 by 5 to the power of 5 minus 3 is 2 and yep we are done our answer is correct so what we have done here is we did the traditional division way we got an answer and we did our law way and we got the same answer so it says that our concept is clear about the second rule hope you have understood about the rule number 2 and please Thank you for watching my video. Please like my video, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and goodbye.